All right, welcome to Atheism vs. Logic. And what I want to talk about is construction, uh, mainly the construction of proteins inside the cell and, and what that looks like and how amazing that is. And, you know, it's done by ribosomes and RNA, and there's RNA and ribosomes. So there's, there's three main types of RNA, mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. Now, mRNA is, is the copy of the genetic information, the genetic code, blueprint, recipe from the DNA, but it's not the whole thing, it's sections of it. And that is copied and then carried out into the cytoplasm and delivered to a ribosome. Now, a ribosome is made up of rRNA, ribosomal uh, ribonucleic acid, and proteins. And then you have tRNA that brings the amino acids to the ribosome. So you've got a ribosome that is two pieces that goes around a strand of mRNA. And then you've got the tRNA that brings the amino acid and it connects it in the right sequence so that the mRNA has the information for that protein. Proteins are made up of amino acids. And so the tRNA brings the amino acid and it connects to the right spot and then the, it links, it just keeps reading the mRNA, the tRNA keeps bringing amino acids, connecting the amino acids to each other in a very specific sequence. Do you understand that? It has to be a very specific sequence to create a very specific protein. And our bodies are made of proteins. A lot, you know, a largely parts of, you know, our bodies are largely made of proteins. And that decides you know, different cells and different cells create different tissue and they combine for different organs. Different organs create different systems and systems come together for a particular organism. So this is construction happening. So imagine you're, you're, you've got to build something. You've got the information, the blueprint on how to build something. You, you tell one person, he's your messenger. He's got to take this information and he has to bring it to a factory that is going to produce what you want produced. And then you've got another person, the tRNA, who's got to go get the material necessary to build that specific object you want. So think about that. Have you ever managed people? Uh, that's that's very difficult, you know. So many things get lost in translation. You know, the, the wrong things are brought. And so this is happening inside of a cell, and this is necessary for life, right? Because if you have DNA, you don't have life. The DNA has to be copied. The, the, the information copied that's brought to the ribosome from the mRNA has to be turned into an actual protein. Well, that's not going to happen without amino acids. So something has to bring the amino acids in. The ribosome itself is made of proteins and RNA. And so, man, it's just so amazing. So I'm going to link a video showing you this. Now, it, it kind of oversimplifies it because it only shows a what it calls a protein that's five amino acids long. Well, that doesn't exist. I mean, uh, proteins are very complex and they're made of many amino acids, you know, typically hundreds. I think there's some proteins that are made of, of you know, close to a thousand uh, amino acids. So, so we're talking about a very long specific chain that's going to fold on itself and create a three-dimensional protein. So watch that video and then really ask yourself the tough questions because I think atheism, no offense, is a joke. It's a sick joke. You look at these things, man, I wish Darwin could have seen these. You know, someone could show these videos to Darwin, go back in time, and he'd be like, oh shoot, that, that couldn't happen by natural processes. And even now, man, man, I challenge scientists, if you're a scientist, or if you know a scientist, and they think this stuff happened by natural processes, well then create it in a lab, right? See if you can do it. Take all the pieces necessary to life, put it in a you know, do whatever you need to do to, to cry, try to create a living cell. I bet you can't do it, right? So if it can't happen in a lab, and we know how these things function now, or we know so much more about how these things function, you probably, they, they can't do it. Now, will they be able to do it in the future? I don't know, but we're going to have to be really, really mindful and ask the tough questions because it can be so deceiving. You know, just like I said with the Miller-Urey experiment, people are like, oh, they made life in the lab. No, they made an amino, they showed that amino acids could occur naturally. Big deal. That is nothing compared to a prokaryotic cell. That is nothing compared to life. So ask yourself the tough questions and come on, scientists. You can't put that stuff together. We're talking about DNA, genetic information, you know, 
It has to be in a specific sequence. So what I'm asking is just that, man, be, ask the tough questions. This stuff could not happen by chance. This stuff could not happen by natural processes. This stuff cannot happen inside of a lab, not a living cell, to get these pieces to come together and do what they're supposed to do. This is crazy complex. This is amazing mechanisms. And this is, uh, you know, this is nanotechnology. This is construction on a very small level. And this is very specific stuff. So watch this video, ask yourself the tough questions, and please abandon atheism. That doesn't mean you have to adopt a religion. You know, I understand that, that most religions are ridiculous. And they ask you to do dumb things. So you don't have to be a religious person. You just gotta admit the truth. A mind is behind life. Because these complex mechanisms that are organized in an amazing way, that work together, could not come about by natural processes. If they can, show me in a lab.